So this morning, uh, myself as well as the Newberry High School students uh, went over to a coffee shop in West Des Moines called Sweetwaters to meet up with presidential candidate and Donald Trump challenger Joe Walsh. And there he did a general meet and greet. I was able to sit down and interview him for about uh, 20 minutes. He's not into the big rallies. So talking to him was interesting. It was, it was a unique experience. And then after that, we went back to the Polk County GOP office. We did some more call banking and it was a, it was a pretty productive day. Today we went back to the Bernie campaign where we learned what, we tried a mock caucus where we learned what we were gonna be witnessing tonight. What we did was we all separated into groups and we picked a category and then we all voted on it and we learned how people persuade each other and then we cold called them. Alex was a volunteer who was telling us how and what he does to prepare for the caucus and how, why he supports Bernie and thinks he is an important candidate. Micah was there and she told us her story about being transgender and living with a rare condition that causes her organs to destroy themselves and how it's too expensive to live and why she needs Bernie and why she thinks Bernie's healthcare system would be very good. Several of us uh, went to Biden's campaign one of their uh, branches, uh, we campaigned with them. We did some cold calling with them, which is just basically calling people on the phone and asking if they're going to go to the uh, caucus. While we were there, we met with one senator and two congresswomen. Two of the people included Lisa Blunt Rochester, who uh, was the congresswoman from Delaware, the only one they have there. And we also met former Connecticut Senator uh, Chris Dodd. Make sure you get Are you guys excited to be here? <laughs> yeah. And then afterwards, we went to West Des Moines downtown, and we went to Zombie Burger and got really, really good food, but it's unfortunate because they're only in Des Moines. And then we went to some boutiques and shops. Isn't it pretty? We went to Ray Guns, and we got some cool sweatshirts. Some of us got matching sweatshirts, and they had a lot of other sayings on shirts as well. And then we went to Marv's Music. We're going, oh my God, we're going to Marv's Music! Oh my Marv's God. Baby. And some people bought some records. Seth, what'd you get? I got a Green Day album, yeah. Phil Collins album. It was like my life. And at the caucus, we got to experience real life. Hopefully we can get this kickstarted across the country here in Iowa. First caucus of the nation, 2020 Democratic caucuses. Thank you. The process and how quick things can change. In the first 20 minutes, both Biden and Yang, their campaigns were invalid. And so they just got up and left because they didn't feel like they needed to vote for their second candidate. It was pretty quick. And then we went to another caucus where it wasn't as quick and people were still voting. We left during the middle of it, but we got a lot of interviews from them. Okay, so currently it is 11.40 at night. It is 12.40 back at home. Um, we are still waiting for the results. They have 0% of the precincts results, so we're just waiting for those to come in. They had a flaw in their system, so they are just backed up trying to get the results, so we don't really know when we'll get that. Um, we're currently writing a couple stories, and I think we're posting those tonight, but so far we're just waiting around and seeing uh, the results of the caucuses.